Hey, any fish. It's the 4th of November 2017. And uh, I can't not just touch on this iPhone X one more time briefly from the technological aspect of it. From the layman's view. You know, these are very, very cool gadgets. And they can do a great deal of things. But you're literally looking at a mirror into the beast. This, this is... Uh, this is a technology that's going to literally entrap you even further than you already are, okay? It's essentially, it's a black mirror. And I'm going to explain to you what I mean, because if you go to their page here, and if you observe how long this page is, well, if you go through the page, it pretty much wants to just tell you how great the cameras are, how great the photos it takes, how good the video is, on and on and on. Photos taken with the iPhone, the one eye symbolism, that's very suggestive, on and on and on, the one eye, the rainbow, yada yada yada, make what you will of that, the upside down, one eye. It's just ridiculous. But this is what I wanted to show you. And I don't think they really tell people exactly what they got in their hands when you buy one of these things for a thousand bucks. Which is ridiculous. Anyway, it employs a neural engine. Okay? The A11 Bionic. Capable of 600 billion operations per second. You need to really understand the power of this thing. The CPU, so on and so on. It can watch you change and grow and get fat and old and everything. So on and so forth. More image. Blah, blah, blah. Augmented reality. The A11 Bionic. The most powerful chip ever. Let's just... Go on a little bit here. 4.3 billion transistors. This, by the way, I assure you, without doubt, this employs the quantum technology in some way, shape, or form. Absolutely no question about it. Because this thing, this neural engine, is a hardware that's purpose-built for machine learning. Okay? You need to understand that. It's a type of artificial intelligence. It's going to enable your cell phone to learn from observation. So everything you do on here, particularly your photos, videos, audio, location, everything you do, quite literally, every single solitary thing you do with this device, everywhere it goes, so on and so forth, is going to be learning learning you better than you and your surroundings and I promise you it'll be communicating with other devices with the 5G system in real time and this thing is going to be your best friend for a short period and then it's going to be your prison warden and that's just the way it is because this beast is learning humanity to the point where it is literally going to just tell you what to do, for lack of a better way to put it. You're handing away your sovereignty. You're giving away your ability to be a free human being when you partake in this system. It truly is that simple. There are little ways around it, but it's here. It's, it's not going to be stopped. So what are you going to do? Well, I suggest at the very least, if you're going to carry a smartphone, get yourself a small pouch that blocks the signal when you're not using it. You at least give yourself a level of privacy, if you even care. But I'll tell you what, folks, this is a giant stepping stone in the building of this beast system which will be employed sooner than later. So please prepare appropriately. Seek Christ Jesus, because he will show you the truth and give you great peace in times of, uh, let's say, darkness. So, that being said, 
peace and grace to you all. Shabbat Shalom. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 